I recently showed you how to root the 1 plus 3. Now gaining root access to the 1 plus 3 will most likely modify the system partition. And even if you installed the systemless version, installing a root application like Better Battery Stats or Exposed Framework will also modify the system partition. If you have modified the system partition, you will not be able to install an OTA update. As you can see, I'm getting a notice here. So as you can see, I have root installed and I am on version 3.2.0 of Oxygen OS. There's a way to manually install this update without losing any of my installed applications. And that's what I want to show you how to do today. To do that, we need to manually download the flashable signed zip file for the firmware. Now, if you look in the description below the video, you'll find a link to the full tutorial for this. And in that tutorial, I have included the links to those signed flashable zip files. So if you are on, like me, if you're on 3.2.0 with root access and you want to get to 3.2.1, you'll just need to go to that link. It's an XDA forum and download the, th the Oxygen OS version 3.2.1 zip file. Now if there's a future update and you want to update to that one, then all you have to do is download the zip file for the version of Oxygen OS you want to install on your OnePlus 3. Once you have downloaded it, you want to move and copy it to the OnePlus 3. You can see we have the version 3.2.1 right here. Once that's downloaded, you want to go ahead and have the Super SU file as well. Because once we manually install this update, it will wipe any any type of root modification you've made to your device so if you have exposed framework you're going to need to reinstall exposed afterwards as well so once you have the firmware and super su go ahead and boot the one plus three into recovery mode this is going to boot us into twerp and we're going to install the new update on top of our current firmware similarly to how we install a custom ROM. Once you get here, if you haven't already, go ahead and create a backup just in case something goes wrong always 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 have a current backup then we're going to tap the install button we're going to tap on the oxygen os 3.2.1 zip file or any version of oxygen os you want to install then we're going to tap on the add more zips button right here and then tap on the SuperSU zip file. Once both of those files are in the queue, go ahead and swipe the white arrows to the right to, to start the install process. This is gonna take a few minutes. It's going to patch the system image. Then it's gonna verify before installing 
and then it will reroute the one plus three. This type of install process is generally called a dirty flash because instead of wiping the partitions clean, which is called a clean flash, we are installing this new firmware update right on top of our current one. Now it is done patching the system image. Now it's going to verify the updated system image. We're mostly done with the install now. It's just going to take a little more time. Now it's going to install the super SU binaries again. And remember this notice, just like when we rooted the one plus three the first time, it is going to boot twice. It's going to look like it's in a boot loop, but just let it finish that second boot cycle and it will boot back up. So once you're done, just go ahead and wipe the cache just so it's clean and then tap the reboot system button. This is our first boot cycle. It's going to say starting, but then it's going to reboot. Now this is our second boot cycle. This happens every time you manually root the one plus three, at least for now. This might change in the future, but as it is right now, this is normal. I'm just going to let it finish booting up and then I'm going to show you all of my apps are still installed. We have SuperSU still there. So we have SuperSU still there. All of my applications are still installed. And all our settings are the same. And now we are on 
Oxygen OS version 3.2.1.